What up, what up, what up? I'm back, Gemini. What's going on? I hope everyone is doing well. And welcome new people, welcome new subscribers, returning family, cross watchers. Everyone here is loved and welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending you an abundance of love, light, healing, vibes. We're be learning, healing, growing, evolving to be better than we were the day before. That is that's our job while we're here on this earth. Okay, we're not supposed to be just moving through, just living and existing. Okay, there's 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 two existing people and living people. This is the existing people. <laughs> I'm gonna get it fixed, y'all. Don't trip. And this is you know the living. Okay. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, Jim and I. So anyway, we're to heal. Okay, this finger needs healing. This nail needs to be healed and repaired. Okay, so we can grow and evolve and become one and whole like this. Like this nail right here. But anyway, Gemini Choir, come to the front. Come to the front. I hope every did I say I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is, okay? So, um, yeah, choir, come to the front. One, two, three, oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, tarot, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about, about, about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Yay! Give the choir a round of applause. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, people, were you ready? Let's go see what energy, okay, ancestors, ancestors, Father, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters, the highest white light, pure love only, okay, and health and wealth, don't forget that. What energy is Gemini in right now, or what energy surrounds Gemini? How about that? Also, give me a card for what energy Gemini is, well, I don't know, because there's high vibe and low vibe Geminis, okay? So, energy, just give me a read. What's this message going to be about shit? That's why we can't be getting too specific, Spirit. Just look. Spirit, what's going on? What's the energy in Gemini in? Gemini, y'all chilling. Okay, so my high vibe, Spirit said, we always talking to the high vibe, okay? <laughs> Gemini, y'all chilling, okay? You're seeking knowledge, your inner strength right now, okay? You guys have been through a lot, but you've overcome. Right now, you're just resting, you're doing research. Some of you guys are going back to school. Let me move this. You guys are going back to school and studies and things like that. And you're studying esoterical knowledge, getting closer to God, Gemini. And you're just not even around right now. Okay. You guys are searching for something or somebody searching for you, Gemini, but you're very strong right now. Okay. So you've rested, you've rejuvenated, you've seek, you, you have some type of knowledge that is it's a, it's a spiritual gift. Then now you have more strength than you ever had before. You're able to tame the wild beast inside. Okay, here we go. Growing, learning, and healing, and revolving. Gemini. Okay, that's what's up. So you guys are learning. And you guys are going within. And you guys are seeking the Father in within. And you're doing the work. And you're being strong. Okay, you are strong. Not being strong. You, you are strong, Gemini. Okay, whatever... Um, blockages or whatever challenges that a lot of you were having you have overcome those challenges just by going within and having a relationship an intimate relationship with yourself with god okay that's what's up gemini mm -hmm. and now you're this is your ten of cups god is your ten of cups that's really the bottom line okay it's not a person place or thing it's really the holy spirit within your ancestors the, that source whatever you call the source you know who the source is the one on the right side. <laughs> um, that's why you're at this Ten of Cups right now. And that's giving you your strength. The God is your strength. Okay? He is your knowledge. He lead, God is leading and guiding you. Okay? The way. Absolutely. I love that. Okay? And, um, you're, yeah, you cleansed your energy, Gemini. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I don't know why I'm here and take me to the water to be baptized. But, Lord... I don't know. I don't feel like it's a physical baptism. I feel this is more of a spiritual baptism. This lady with the white robe, okay, on 
that purity, that angel, angelic, that is the Leo card, exercise, I mean, representing strength. So you're strong, okay? And you've been cleansed. You've laid down your burdens. You've, you've overcome the beast inside. And now you're on your divine path. Hallelujah. All right, what's going on? Mm, okay, we're going to flip it now to Woundy Crusty or whoever. The person on your mind is in your energy. I don't want to call your person Woundy or Crusty, okay? They are angry right now because you are experiencing this Ten of Cups. They see your strength and they see your... A lot of them see you're spiritually woke. You're spiritually woke now, okay? Um, I hear that song, so stay woke, boom, 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 because niggas creeping. I don't know if it's niggas or ninjas, <laughs> but I'm going to say niggas creeping, okay? But anyway, he mad or she mad that you woke, okay? They cannot use this wand upon you anymore like they was once doing, okay? They are... Oh my God, I don't even know what to say. I don't. I just don't even want to talk about Woundy and Crusty and put my energy into that. But for the new people, you know, we got to repeat ourselves. Spirit said we are sacrifices. So a lot of the older, um, well, well, um, knowledge, elevated brothering, you guys have already heard this Woundy Crusty story, okay? But the new people that have come, okay, they haven't. They though they don't understand. They're trying to figure it out, okay? So they've come on this channel. To heal, learn, grow, and evolve because they've had an awakening or they're having an awakening. Okay, baby? So don't, like I say, don't get greedy with the messages. Everybody's on different timelines and paths, but we are all coming up as one. And there's always something that you can learn through the message. Okay? So, yeah, what's going on? So, babies, the new babies, there is a prince of, there, that prince of cups. Is the prince of knight of cups? Is that the same? I don't know, child. Anyway... It's the Knight of Cups. <laughs> I don't know why I said the Prince of Cups. <laughs> They're going to come to you all peaceful and everything, okay? They're going, this King of Wands energy, okay? <sighs> I'm picking up, this energy is pissed off at you. They're angry at you that you are growing, you're healing, you've cut off this energy, okay? And now you are walking into your happiness, okay? And spirits say that's the truth. You're Ten of Cups, like you're satisfied wherever you're at. A lot of you are single, okay? And wherever you're at right now, you're happy because you cut this energy off, this the chameleon, this wannabe. I want to say wannabe. I don't know. A pimp wannabe? That's why I think he's a pimp wannabe and probably had babies and con was married and was was the married pimp. Who is a married pimp? I'm so confused right now. Spirit say that's the truth. Oh, okay. Some of y'all had a baby by this Mary Pimp. Oh, Lord have mercy. And here he come, coming, coming back. Oh, Casanova. Yeah, because he's trying to slow your shit down. So he's going to come and make an offer because he's like, yeah, where are you going? You're not going anywhere because this pimp is very arrogant. Yeah, he got, he like to be seen with his, I don't know, when I see this in this car, he got alligator, alligator skin shoes on. Okay, <laughs> that's not funny. He dressed real loud, this person. Because if they're not a pimp, they just like a lot of attention. They dress real loud. They talk real loud. They want to be the center of attention. It's always a look at me. They're always on their high horse. Uh, picking up a little narcissistic, a little obnoxious, a little agitating. This person gets on a lot of people's nerves. Yes, they do. Um, And tell me about this more about this King of Wands energy. Okay, what's that? This King of Wands is toxic as fuck. Yeah, he's a pimp. He's a pimp for sure. He work hard. He work the bitches hard for the money. Yes, he do. So this King of Wands is very toxic, very devilistic, very arrogant. Possibly this King of Wands, though, isn't the dark magic, though. I'm just keeping it so 100. Wow. And this King of Wands likes control. They always have to be in control. Right now, they feel like they're out of control because you left the pimp, child, and you done went about your business. Spirit say that's the truth, and now you're happy. So this pimp's trying to come back and swindle you back to work. Yeah, look, the pimp's trying to come back and get you to come back to work. Now, I don't know who the hell is in here, but baby, I'm glad you're here so we can heal, learn, grow, and evolve, okay? So if this is a, a lady of the night, um, he, your pimp's trying to get you back. Okay. Yeah, he's trying to yeah, he's trying to get you to back get you get you back into this contract, okay? 
Because the devil is a contract. Eight of Pentacles is work. He wants victory and success. This King of Wands fist is balled the fuck up. You probably got a baby by this pimp. Don't have to be. And if he's not a pimp, he wants you to come back home. He wants you to come back home into this marriage. Okay, so if it's not a pimps and hoes situation, yeah, because he feels lost without you. Because you must be, okay, for my lady, love the night I'm talking to you, girl, you his money maker. I'm just saying, okay, because he got other hoes right here. And he like, mm-mm, he looking at him like, bitches, y'all don't do what she do. Y'all don't do what she do, okay? So he just looking at them. He just waiting and shit. They ain't doing shit. He got other bitches and shit. So what should my what should my lady of the night do, angels? Keep doing what you're doing, bitch. S keep it stopped, okay? He gonna keep you on an illusion because you ain't nothing but an illusion. This pimp do not love you. This pimp is toxic. He's devil-like. Oh, my God. I don't even know how I tapped into this, baby. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny either. Oh, my God. Jesus, yes, he wants you to come back. He's kind of try. He's trying to travel to you. Okay, he's looking for you. This pimp is looking for you. Uh, oh my God! And he's trying to come back. But spirit say you're not supposed to reconcile with this pimp. Okay, you're supposed to be healing right now, and you're supposed to be closing out this cycle and becoming single and independent. Okay, the spirit says trust him, not the pimp, but trust God, the Son. This is the happiest card in the deck. And spirits say, once you release this energy, this pimp, whatever, I know, I don't know what kind of, what energy is this pimp in right now? Is this a dangerous pimp or is it, this pimp is heavily burning, child. And if it's not a pimp, it's your man or your ex-person or whoever in this energy, in this king of wands, whole like energy, they're heavily burdened right now. They're heavily burdened and they're in regret. What happened? Why, why, what happened for this king of wands energy to be in heavily regret? What do they do? To this beautiful nine of pentacles energy spirit secrets what mm -mm. the knight of wands is flighty in and out taking action so he took some action towards something in secret manifested some type of death what jail time child the empress child, i don't even know look let's just go let's move forward let's move forward oh shit and there whatever they did honey they in the nine of swords they stressed out they can't sleep they imbalanced I don't know why I'm picking up pimps and hoes. Lord have mercy. But anyway, the, I, mm. yeah, yes, is the truth. You got away. You, the money maker, got away. I'm just kind of keep saying it. He wants you back, girl. But spirit got you protected. You're protected 100, percent especially with the world card and then the star card. Yeah, God's got God set this up, baby. So don't worry about it. Yeah, this pimp is heavily burning. So the pimp wants to win at all costs. So he gonna try to he gonna try to reach out to you and communicate to you to get you a little bit off balance because his money is off balance right now without you. You the money maker, okay? Or maybe you're just the bread. So if this is a pimps and hoes, maybe you're just the breadwinner, okay? Maybe you left this person. And <laughs> some of, I'm picking up for some of you guys. You left your house and got a whole brand new house somewhere else. Where Where is the four? Because I did see the four. of. Did y'all see the four of uh, wands? Anyway, I saw the four of wands. That was the marriage card. So some of y'all left this king of wands and bought a new house. And he just worried about what the fuck. He's in regret over this marriage situation. So you ghosted him with this. This is a ghosting card too. So you guys ghosted him. Okay, you're strong. Look, y'all strong. Y'all like, y'all got me kind of fucked up right now. Okay, King Wands, with your abusive ass. He could have been abusive, but uh, more so promiscuous, okay? And was a pimp. I'm just picking up probably pimp. Maybe he was pimping himself. Okay, I don't know what the hell. But anyway, you left the King of Wands energy, this flighty, arrogant, egotistical, toxic energy. Okay, now... And you left him with everything at the house. And you got you another place. Good for y'all. Now he want to come back and bring you back so you can help him out with this housing situation for some of y'all. Mm, mm, mm. And Yeah. He want a brand new beginning, but he really wants to have some sex with you because he thinks that's the way he can control you. So for the pimps and hoes situation, he want to come and get it in where he can fit it in. He stressed the fuck out. Because he thought he had you. But then come to find out he didn't have you. What is uh, my lady of the night energy? Which energy is she in? You, baby, you healing. You temperance. Yeah, you're temperancing. You're healing right now. Okay? You've cut this energy out good. I'm so proud of you. Yes, yes, yes. You did. You did. You did. 
Now, you do feel it's a two of cups situation only because you were in the seven of cups, that illusion. So he wanted to make you believe that this person was your end all be all, like they were the one to get you, they're going to be taking care of you. They were going to be the ones to provide for you. But the thing is, you were the one laying down, doing all the work and giving the money to this pimp over here, okay? And so, no, you could do a bad by all yourself. That's what you figured out. You said, oh, hell no, I can do bad all by myself. I'm tired of giving my coochie money to this man, okay? After I put in the work, I got to go and give this man my coochie money? You got tired of it, so you rejected it, so you bounced, baby. You bounced. You have a plan? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, she had a plan. She had a plan. Good, good. Yeah. The ace. Oh, my God. So, you were, some of you were married to, uh, this is so confusing. There's so many energies. Look, for some of y'all, it is a lady in the night that got away, and I'm so proud of you, girl. You doing the right thing. I know you scurred, but don't worry. This, you can call the police if you want to. Okay, that's okay. I know your pimp has you thinking in your mind that he's controlling everything, but he really ain't controlling shit. Like, he think he controlling shit. This is just a toxic motherfucker okay he's just doing that to slow your ass down and to confuse you to keep you undecided about turning his ass into jail okay into jail turning his ass to the authorities i'll put it that way you can go on spirit say you can go on and call him honey you got the keys right now the sun the world the star yeah that's the only way you're going to be single and abundant and live your life is putting this motherfucker behind bars but some of you might be pregnant from this motherfucker though okay and that's why you scared it and decided to cut this person out. Oh, Lord. Because you feel like you feel he made you. He's making you feel like you need him. You need him to put in this teamwork and dream work. Like you need this person. You can't move nowhere without him. But that's not true. That's fucking not true. He's thinking, making you feel like you need me. No, you're single and abundant. Look, he's putting all those stops on you. Because you are single and he knows your potential. Girl, you make him his money. Shit, okay? You make this man his money. You've been with him for quite some time, okay? You afraid to leave him. But, I mean, you stressed out. He stressed out more than you stressed out. I think you're in a better place than when you were before. You just, you just, tell me what, what's the beautiful lady of the night worried about? Reconciling, coming, yeah. You, you worried about him trying to come and reconcile and come to find you and come to, yeah, that's, but don't worry, he's not. He's feeling like the wounded warrior right now. He ain't going to. What's the, what's, what's the outcome? Is this is this, is this Tim's out to try to find the lady of the night? <laughs> no, he's not. You're going to be guarded. Well, you're doing everything that you can to defend yourself against this person. This person's not coming towards you. He's, he's looking for you, though. He is. But you're moving to calmer waters. Okay, let me tell you, because God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. And he's closed the cycle. He set up these divinely orchestrated events for you to get away and close the cycle. Okay? Like I said, you anybody that comes on this channel is not haphazard or coincidental. Okay? It's for a reason. And so, therefore, you've cut this person out. You've made a decision. You said, I'm tired of giving them a coochie for this man. And you don't have to be a pimps and hoes or whatever, you know what I mean? Or, you know, lady of the night or whatever. But it could just be you're tired of taking care of this old ass, able bodied person, being abusive, having one night stands, possibly getting other people pregnant, working with other people, sleeping, bringing them inside of your house. Child, just be super disrespectful. Okay, completely disrespectful. So you made a judgment call, okay, to expose, to say, bye, I'm out of here. And that's what you did. You went to Karma Waters. To invest in yourself. You became single, happy, and abundant. You've balanced out right now. And you are moving forward. But for some reason, you feel mentally entrapped possibly by this pimp. Okay? Or this ex-lover or whoever it may be. Because they have brainwashed you to feel. Well, maybe because you feel like you were the money maker and you kind of left them stuck. Okay? A little bit for some of you. Because you did leave them. I did pick that up. Y'all left. You said Bye. You left this person in a, in a house full of furniture. <laughs> you left him in a house full of furniture, child, bills and everything, lights and stuff. And this person don't know what to do. They can't even, child, they have all the lights off because they don't know. They don't know. They just don't know. They can't pay the bills right now. Mm, they was depending on you. Mm, why is this pimp broke? I ain't never heard of no broke pimp. Like, what the hell? Why he need? So he's feeling defeated. 
and he wants to reach out to you to tell you, come back home. I miss you. I'm wounded. I can't make it without you. Okay? Look, he's feeling defeated. Wants to reach out to you to tell you, I'm wounded. You hurt me. Okay? You know I love you. Okay? And I'm going to need you to come back home. Okay? Because I'm your motherfucker. Okay? And I said, no. And look, you know where you belong. Look, don't let him brainwash you and all that shit. So here you come rushing back and shit. Flying back. No, no, no. All this hard work. This is what his plans are. Spirit. So tell me, see. Let me take this in. So let me see more. Spirit. So what is the outcome, though? Um, What is the outcome? Sorry, guys. I didn't know it was going to be a Lady of the Night reading. I just picked that up and I can't get it out of my energy. So it is what it is. But take a lesson from it. Even if it's an abusive person, they're going to try to tell you to come back home. They miss you. All because you're the financial person of the, you know, you hold the weight. You're the go-getter. You're the one that makes things happen. You're the provider. This person needs a car note paid for and shit. They got secrets they ain't telling you about. They conflict and chaos this person. Like, no, this is not a good, mm-mm. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Let me get the cards right, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I just need to ask the spirit more questions about the outcome. While the outcome, I do see, it's, I saw the three of swords in conflict. So he is going to be heartbroken with conflict. What's the outcome, spirit? What's the outcome of this whole situation, please? Ooh, let's take a little leap of faith. So hopefully this is my, oh, you won't get away, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's why. Oh, love it. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. So you are a Gemini. My beautiful lady of the night, okay? So, yeah, the outcome is for my lady of the night is you're going to take a leap of faith in yourself, okay? You're going to trust divine. You're listening, to, you're listening to your ancestors. You see this animal down here? This is your animal spirit guy. You might have a puppy, okay, or a little doggy or a little cat or whatever the case may be. You know, you were afraid because you left. Some of you left with just the clothes on your back. You didn't have anything, okay? You don't have much. But that doesn't matter because you are going to calmer waters and you're trusting divine and God has got you. I promise you, he got you. So you're walking away. It was a long-term relationship, okay? You were two cups away from the 10. So this was a very, yeah, some of you do have children with this person. So you're going to calmer waters with your children, okay? You don't have much, but you're taking a leap of faith on divine. And you are going to manifest another life, a good life. All because of obedience, okay, and faith. You're not a doubting Thomas. You're not a person that needs to see something to believe it. You believe it as if it has already been so. So therefore, divine is going to reward you with blessings. All because you've ended the situation. You get a payout. You get some bling, 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 bling. Yeah, no more giving, no more unequal give and take. Yeah, you gotta, you're gonna have. You're going to get a payout, you're going to balance out your finances, and you're going to get into this King of Pentacles energy, okay? So this is, you're making the right moves, baby boy, baby girl, whoever you are, okay? It kind of going to say a gentleman of the night, because it could be a guy, I don't know. But I'm picking up a female, but no worry, it could be a masculine and his female energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that you have a good outcome. Well, give me one more and I'm going to end it. Tell me more, Spirit, how else is it going to end? Justice, look at you, baby, and you in your power, you got the power, okay, so yeah, you might end up running into your emperor, you will run into your emperor, once you move away, I think your emperor's on the other side, so spirit had to get you to take a leap of faith, to move forward, because he had a plan to stabilize you, or you and your family, okay, and then he has someone else waiting for you on the other side. Possibly another King of Swords energy, air sign such as yourself, Gemini, or it could be a Libra or Aquarius or a Gemini. And then here comes the King of Swords. I mean, the Queen of Swords shows up right next to the Emperor, the Queen, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Magician. And then here we go with the Sun one more time. So that's the happy, happy, happy card. So you are actually leaving this pimp, hoe, woundy, crusty, busted, dusted father figure, whoever this is. It was an older person that you did leave. Okay, but you made the right decision. Okay, you did make the right decision for whoever this is. And you are going to meet your emperor. It may not be immediately. And for some of you, it may be immediately. 
But however, you have done the work, though. You took the step. All you got to do is take the leap of faith, and divine does the rest for you, okay? So, yeah. And it's going to happen quickly. But you're going to get back up on your feet, you guys. So, whoever was in this energy, I'm glad that you were led to this channel. I feel that you're, you know, you're nervous, you're scared of this. Whoever this energy is might be after you. But look, he ain't going to find you. Divine's going to make sure he don't find you. Yeah, he's still going to try to find you, but he ain't going to find you. Because you're blessed, you're protected at the end of the day. Because you made the steps to, rate, to make the right move to end the whole situation. Clarify the death angels. And I'm going to end it. Oh, look, you ended it. And you're victorious. Okay, you are victorious. Yes, I love it. And you get fast forward. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what's up. All right, Gemini, I hope this has helped. I hope you learned something from the lesson. Okay, it's always a... Look, don't take shit from nobody. Always go use your intuition. If your intuition is nudging you to do something that you know that is for your best interest, but you may be afraid, just take a leap of faith on God. Okay? Take a leap of faith on God. Because God will never fail you. God will never lead you. And every time you take a leap of faith to God, God always has a payout and the rewards. He balances the situation out always. And he gets you a little something, something on the side as well. And then you, you know what? God has your back because you're a child of God. So always remember that as well. So no weapons formed against you can prosper. And what God has for you, let no man tear asunder. But you got to be willing to let go and take a leap of faith of God. All right, Gemini, that's been your reading. I hope this helped. Love you. Bye.